Hello everybody, today we're going to make a text-filled photograph of your favorite artist or celebrity. So let's start by getting a picture of somebody. We're going to type something into Google here. We're going to type the name of your person and probably the word portrait after. <clears throat> so I'll type in Justin Bieber portrait and I'll go over here to images and I'll find a good one. And this is the one that I'm going to use. Justin Bieber right here. Um, it's a perfect picture because he's looking directly at the camera. His head is not tilted to one side. This one also could definitely work. So I'll take this and I will copy it. And then I'm going to open up PhotoP. And PhotoP is really smart. It knows that when I press new project, it knows that based on the size of the project, uh, the, the file in my clipboard, it knows how big to make the picture. So it's the exact same size. If I press paste, there it is. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I just want Mr. Bieber's face. So what I need to do is I need to um, select just his face. Okay. Um, but before that, we're going to get rid of some of the color. Now, this one already is desaturated pretty much, but I'm going to go ahead and desaturate it. So we go to image, adjustments, desaturate. So it basically yours is going to look different. This one doesn't look any different because it's already a monochrome or black and white photo. All right. So we are going to select the face of the Biebs, and we're going to do this by using, let's try this on this computer, the object selection tool. This is pretty simple. You just go to object selection, and we make a box around his face. And can we see what just happened here? It just automatically snapped to his face. Okay. So we're going to have it high. He's highlighted. Okay. And then we are going to, so it's not perfect here. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go to select refine edge. And as you guys can see, it's what this tool does is it focuses on making the end of the person and the background. So we have a little bit of a problem area here. And so what I'm going to do is use this tool, make it a little bigger. I'm just going to kind of highlight here and that will allow us to create a new layer that looks just like this. I'll collect it like this, make sure it says new layer and OK. Now up top, I have the new layer that we've created. So I'm going to hide the background so you can see it. So this is Justin Bieber. Again, he's got no background behind him. OK, so then what I'm going to do is use the highlight tool or the selection tool. Sorry, and I'm just going to select him. OK, I'm going to go to edit copy. Okay. Now I'm going to go create a new window in photo P new project. And I need you guys to make a very specific size here. 1083 by 1500. Simple as that. Okay. Edit paste. And there he is. And I'm going to use the selection tool, holding shift, and I'm going to grab the corner and I'm going to make him take up the whole screen. Now his chin is a little bit gone, so I'll move it up, make him a little smaller. So his chin and head, there you go. All right, press OK. Now, the next thing we need to do actually though, is we need to make sure that this is a ba black background. It'll just look much cooler. So we're going to click on this here. And if it isn't already black and white, we click here and press D. And it should make it black and white. OK, this, these should be black and white. OK, then we click here on the black and press Alt. 
or sorry, Option or Alt, depends on your computer, and then Delete. Oh, but first we need to make sure that we have the background selected. Option, Option or Alt, Delete. Option, Alt, Delete. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to create a new layer. And we want this layer to be all the way at the top. So we have the background is black. We did that by pressing Alt or Option Delete. We have the middle layer with Justin Bieber. And then we have layer two with nothing yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this selection tool here. And we are going to select half, exactly half. And it should be kind of right down the middle of the nose based on the kind of picture you have. We're going to select half, and then we are going to, if this is collect, selected correctly, we're going to press Alt, and then Option, uh, Alt or Option, depending on your computer, which is the key kind of in the bottom left here in the corner, Alt, and then we're going to press the Delete key, like we were deleting a letter. And what it should do is it should create, it should delete half of this picture here. So we just have half black. Okay. Now this is selected, so we want to deselect it. And now we're going to go and we're going to choose the text. So we're going to press the text tool. And we're going to go and we're going to choose a text that is thick, that, that we could kind of see through. So I chose, there's a lot to choose from. Really, this would be not a good place to choose anything too crazy. So this one here looks pretty good. Preview, Bebas it's called. Click on this. We want to make sure that it's white so we can see it. Press OK. So again, I clicked here, and then I clicked the corner where the white is, and I clicked OK. And then I'm going to click the size. I'm going to make it pretty big so we can really see it. And then I'm going to click the text tool, and I'm going to start typing the first two lines of whatever saying we want to do here with Mr. Bieber. Now, I don't know what the lyrics are to this song exactly, so I'm going to type them in. Okay, here we go. And I, okay, there are the lyrics, great. So I'm going to copy some of these lyrics. Oh, well, actually, I don't need to copy them. Uh, we'll copy the first line. Go back here. And, you, you know, you could paste them in. Uh, I would suggest... Okay, now here's the deal. We have to make sure that the right justify button has been pressed. And we want to make sure these are highlighted first and then press it. So it moved everything kind of over here. And we'll move it back and we want it to line up kind of right here at his face. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not quite sure this is the best font. It's a little too small. I picked a few good ones before. Not a good one. You see, that one's a weird one, too. Okay, so I've chosen the font Passion one. This seems like it'd be a pretty good one here. And we're going to do a couple things. We're going to type just the first two lines and stop. Okay. Then we're going to go window character. It's going to bring us up a lot of options. And we're going to adjust the letting. We want to make sure that there's not a lot of space between the two lines here. So this is something that you're going to mess around with. When we bring it all the way up to 100, that's normal. So we're going to bring it down a little bit so they're pretty close together. 70 seems like a good number. And then you're going to go ahead and just type the rest of the lyrics, changing it so it fits with about the size of his face. So I can go back to these lyrics.
Okay. Once you've done as many of them as you think you need, we're going to change a few things about this. I'm going to press the select tool and I'm going to actually make it fit. So I'm going to slide it down here and slide it down here. Now, I'm going to go back to the text and adjust it. And you see the way I've written it, it's kind of a shape like a face. I think that's pretty good. All right. Now the next, so the next step is to click, making sure that we're clicked on, I don't know why there's an extra one here, clicked on this T, and we're going to press the Control button, which is in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Control, and we'll click the T. And what you can see now is that the letters, just where the letters are, are highlighted. Then we're going to click on Layer 2, and we're going to press Delete. Okay, and when you press Delete, it'll look like nothing's happened. But if you hide the text, you'll see that if you've done this right, you've clicked on the layer with the black and you've deleted everything where the pick where the text was. So then I can hide this and there it is. And then we have everything selected. We want to go to deselect. Okay. There are the lyrics. Now, the problem is, some of this we can't read very well. Perhaps I didn't choose the best font. But we want to make this just a little bit lighter. So we're going to click on his face, which we're going to brighten up. Dodge. Click on the shadows. Exposure to 100. Choose the right size for your tool. Hardness. And you're just going to lighten up some of the places where it's a little hard to read. Don't overdo it. And it looks... Fantastic. Nice job. Good luck. Can't wait to see what yours looks like.